and it's, there's two players um, they, 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 that we're talking about. So, and it's Ronaldo, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, Lionel Messi. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, see, I see debates like that online all the time. You know, so there's there's so it's like it's like it's like a divided faction now. So there's the there's the Ronaldo team and there's the Lionel Messi team. What team are you on? I'm on the Messi team, definitely. Yeah. I, I think um I thought Ronaldo in the Euros was very disappointing. Wow. Um maybe Portugal. I thought they they had a bit of a run, didn't they? Um they got quite fur, quite deep into the competition. But I don't think centre-forward, if that's where Ronaldo was playing, I think he was, is his position. When you go back to when he played for Man United years ago, yeah. he was essentially a, a flying winger. Um, and he could, he could get past people. He was a good dribbler of the ball. He had uh, free kicks outside the penalty area. He had a fantastic ability to get the ball over the wall and down again into the top corner of the goal. Yeah. And he didn't just do it once. He, he was phenomenal in that way. And I can see why, and I think he's possibly the richest footballer there's ever been. Yeah. And I can see why he was the number one for some period. Yeah. But I actually think, especially in the wake of his Euros performance, and performances, I think, in Juventus recently, which have not been quite so good. I think Messi, well, to say he's brilliant is an understatement. His ability, it's like a ball is stuck to his foot and he goes round players, he can do things no one else could even dream of. And what, what I kind of liked about him, I think at the, I think it was the last World Cup, but um, he, he doesn't, he, he, he looks lazy. And I think as he's got older, Messi, he, he has become a bit lazy, but he can afford to be, and a manager can afford to have a luxury like him in the team who doesn't rush back trying to defend like most players, most strikers are expected to do these days. But when he gets the ball, he makes things happen. The, the, the buzz goes around the crowd. You just think something's going to happen. And I, I remember two or three times I saw him running with the ball close to his feet, right? Round, you know, to the to the near the corner line, and then he'd somehow weave in between the player and another player, and either put the ball on someone's foot for a goal or score himself. I think he is phenomenal, and arguably the, the goat, the greatest of all time. I mean, it will be between him, I guess, and and uh, Madonna, uh, Maradona, not Madonna. <laughs> She's a singer, but Maradona. I mean, he was he was phenomenally good as well in a similar sort of way to Messi he had the ball like glued to his feet and he could just glide past people so yeah I'm I'm, I'm very much on the Messi side of things ah, yeah. right. uh, well there's a, I think it's about three years different three years gap between them so between mm. Ronaldo and, uh, and Messi um, but I, I think Ronaldo is really hard working um, he works hard to achieve what he achieves. Messi, on the other hand, and this is my opinion, which is debatable. Uh, Messi, on the other hand, is is just pure talent. He, he is just, mm -hmm. you know, he, he's talented. You you know, like like the likes of Maradona, like you said, mm -hmm. uh, which I mean happens to be his countryman. But you know, he's just he's just talented. Ronaldo. He's worked hard to get to where he is. You know, he's really put in a lot of uh, uh, graft, mm. which which makes me think, you know, if you had to choose between talent and hard work, what, what would you Which, which makes me think, you know, if you had to choose between talent and hard work, what, what would you choose, Trevor? Because you've just chosen Messi. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a very good question. Again, in, in various walks of life, I guess. Ah. Um, someone who is a naturally gifted person in whatever it is, a footballer in this case, or someone 
who works hard. Well, I, I mean, to be fair to Ronaldo, I think he was a, always a hard worker, but he was also very, very talented. I mean, I, we're not saying that he just, he was someone who just did the hard work, you know, the hard yards, uh, whereas Messi just is, is the skill. I think Ronaldo used to be at least a very skillful player, but I think part of that, he relied on his speed yeah. um, as, as well as dribbling ability to get past a defender. Whereas now, inevitably, when you when players reach their early 30s, they they lose a yard or two of, of pace. So, um, he, but I, he's obviously still a very talented player. But I, I think he's just sort of opportunist opportunistic in in as a number nine as a, a centre forward because he he has scored some good goals. But I think he's wasted because he just in the Euros you'd see him running into position and then someone wouldn't pass the ball to him or who knows what. So, yeah, I mean, I, I take your point hard work or, or pure talent. Mm -hmm. I think in every case, ultimately, I would go, whatever the subject, I would go for pure talent. Yeah. I I, 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 I love, I, when I think back to George Best, I mean, that you see games of his now on TV, sometimes on Sky, they show old games. Yeah. And he was a genius. I mean, and you think the pitches they used to play on, by all accounts, um, were just mud heaps very right. often, even the, the first division, let alone the other divisions. But Best, George Best's ability um, was phenomenal. He could just waltz around three or four players. I mean, in, in one game, I think in one game, they beat Northampton. I saw this on YouTube one time in the Cup. Mm -hmm. They beat Northampton 10-1. And I think he scored eight goals. I mean, it's just like a schoolboy's game, really. Yeah, so the pure talent of George Best, and they, they never expected him to be running back and defending. He was an out-and-out -out winger yeah. in his heyday, and he, he was beyond comparison. Just a shame that for Northern Ireland, he never reached, as far as I remember, as far as not remember, as far as I know, he never reached a World Cup, so he didn't. He couldn't display his skills yeah, in yeah. that way. But, but yeah, absolute pure talent. And I think if you look at anything in music, in in uh, any subject, really, it's it's a joy to see, to be privileged to see pure talent at work, whatever it is, whatever it is. So, I'm I'm very much on that side of things. What about you? Well. I, I'm on the hard work side of things. I I I think if you've got the talent, which in in Messi's case is obviously not true, or or is an exception. Let me, let me put it that way. So it's an exception to the rule. Um, I, I think if you've got talent, um, you still need to put in the graft. You know, you still mm. you still need to put in the you know hard graft as you'd call it, you know, to, you know, get get things up and rolling. Um but yeah, kudos to Messi. Um I, I'm 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 Team Ronaldo me. <laughs> well I mean you say about putting the talent at the hard work. Absolutely. But I think it's only I'm, I'm not sure how old he is now. Is he 35, 36 Messi? 37. Something like that. 37. And Ronaldo's 39, I think, isn't he? Yeah. So, as you say, he's got a couple of years on him. But yeah. I think Messi used to be much more of a grafter as well as having his talent. He was never he was never a complete player in the sense he would be, be an attacker but would run back a lot. But he did more work. But my question to you would be, perhaps since his early 30s, he's become that luxury. Yeah but a paying luxury because he still produces the goods. He produces the goals. But in this day and age then, given that he can't do all those back back runs to defend, yeah. would you put him in your team, given that you could – the word is – it's wrong to call him lazy, but yeah. in a technical sense, you could say he's lazy, but he's got this phenomenal ability. So would you not put him in because you don't think he's doing his fair share of the work? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I, first of all, I wouldn't call him lazy. I would say, I would say lackadaisical. You know, sort of like <laughs> that sounds even that sounds even more critical. <laughs> lackadaisical. <laughs> I think that's a bit of an insult to him. <laughs> 